You can't be a fan of tennis and not like Serena Williams. Everyone loves this superstar, who's not just one of the biggest names in tennis, but perhaps in all sports. Her recent retirement announcement has left us all sad, and we can't bear to see her go. But all good things must come to an end. Today, we'll tell you everything about her retirement announcement and how a friend's advice helped her. First up, Serena Williams says she's evolving away from tennis. It's a sad time for tennis lovers everywhere. After giving us her best for two incredible decades, this tennis star has decided to move on to other places. The 40-year-old described her decision in a cover story for Vogue's September issue, and we have everything here in her own words. Right off the bat, Williams said she doesn't like the word retirement. It's a a very pre-modern word for the player. She prefers something like transition, but she wants to be sensitive in how and where she uses it. The word she likes the most is perhaps evolution, because for her, she's merely evolving from one path to another. Her life isn't ending, only tennis is. In her own words, she said she's growing away from tennis toward other things that are important to her. Of course, it's one thing to announce you're taking a break, and Serena is familiar with that, but it's another to tell your fans, which is basically the entire world, that you're leaving the one thing that you've been doing all your life. And it's evident that she's not excited at the prospect of letting go. It's the hardest thing she's had to do, and she hates it. Same here, Serena, same here. This news comes after her difficult first round exit at Wimbledon this year, which also happened to be the star's return to tennis for the first time since Wimbledon 2021 when she suffered a right leg injury. Williams missed many events after that, notably the US Open 2021 and the Australian Open 2022. We've seen how she's previously dismissed any discussions about retirement and always jokes around about it. She was asked about the topic just three years ago and said she doesn't plan on retiring in another 20 years. From 20 years to only three, what happened here? This star started playing tennis when she was three, maybe even before that. Now at 40, she thinks that no matter how hard it is to admit it, she's got to move on from the sport. She doesn't want it to be over yet, like who would, but she's also ready for what's next. Coming up, she wants to redirect her attention to her family and other things. The champion wants to refocus her attention elsewhere, and while she does want to work on her investment firm, Serena Ventures, her goals also involve her family. She and her husband have been planning on a second child. Many of you may think that's how it ends up being for most women in sports. They have families, and their sports careers become secondary to them because being a mother is a natural instinct or whatever. Well, first, that's not how it works. We've seen many mothers continue their careers after having kids. This is just an assumption and a wrong one at that. Second, while you may think that women have to make sacrifices for their families, that's not how it is for this tennis star. She wrote that choosing her daughter can never be a sacrifice she has to make. It's something she wants to do. It's not like she can't be a mother and still play tennis. She's done that over the past four years. She even won majors when she was two months pregnant with her daughter Olympia. So step aside. Now, she just knows she doesn't want to be pregnant again as an athlete, and we respect that. Besides, if you think that Serena's retiring to be a full-time mom, think again. Not even close, guys. Of course, motherhood is really important to her, and she does want to have another child, but that's not her main or only driving force here. Now, she's not just leaving tennis for her family. Her main change is her career. Family is a part of her life, no matter what career she chooses. Her main evolution is in terms of her career, moving from tennis to her investment firm. As she wrote in her Vogue essay, her mind had been slowly shifting to Serena Ventures. Maybe that's why she calls it evolving. It's not a sudden change. It's a gradual transition. We may see a lot of her business side from now on, and it looks like she's really passionate about this. This woman is excited to work every morning. Good for you, queen, but that could never be us. She told us that she fell in love with investing when she first started around nine years ago. Now, while her firm may be small, it's rapidly growing. She wants to redirect her attention to a cause that matters to her, which also affords her time for her family. A good balance. Her company wrote one of the first checks for Masterclass, and we know how successful that that's gotten. Just like their other investments, that's what keeps her going. It's the motivation she needs. What really makes her focus her energy on her work is the cause that they empower. 78% of the firm's portfolio is companies started by women and people of color, which is really important to Serena. The world needs more of Serena Ventures, and Serena Ventures needs more time from its founder. We respect this decision a lot, and know our favorite player will make waves wherever she goes. And now for the big one. Serena reveals the advice Tiger Woods gave her. The careers of golf champion Tiger Woods and Serena have many parallels. Both achieved fame in their sports during a similar time frame and were the greatest to play. Right now, both of them are in the twilight of their competitive days. While Tiger's sport allows him to stay in action,
action for much longer, Serena's doesn't. Many of you may not know this, but these two legends actually share a very close bond. Pretty close, in fact, and it seems like Williams really values Tiger's advice. After her year-long break from tennis, this seven-time Wimbledon winner felt an itch to return to tennis. So, she went to the 46-year-old golf champion for suggestions on this and her retirement. She told Tiger that she was confused. At that point, while she was contemplating retirement, Serena didn't know whether she was truly over tennis yet. Tiger being Tiger, wanted his friend to at least try and see if she wanted to pursue tennis further or not. He told her to give it two weeks, no commitment or anything, just playing for two weeks and see where that takes her. Up next, Tiger's advice really helped Serena grow and figure things out. That was some excellent advice, and it turns out it helped Serena a lot. After a month, she decided it was time to pick up her friend's recommendation and return to the court. It felt magical to pick up her racket again, and she felt she was really good. While she may not have been ready to win Wimbledon this year, that's not going to stop her from trying again in New York. But other than that, she's done good for herself, especially after her injury. She won her first singles match in over a year in the Canadian Open against Spanish player Nuria Parizas Diaz. This win is an excellent sign, and it means Williams has been improving since her Wimbledon game. And it comes only a few weeks before the US Open, which means things may be looking up for the star. Thanks to Tiger's advice, it seems like this legend will go out with a bang. As this six-time US Open champion approaches her final set of pro tennis matches, her friend from golf also faces some uncertainty about his career. While age isn't an issue for Woods, injury is. He's played some fantastic sets this season, but it just hasn't been the same since that car accident. The 15-time major golf champion missed the cut in the British Open in July, and it was a rather emotional moment as he left Scotland's old course at St. Andrews. We don't know what's next for him, but we do know one thing. Just like he was there for Williams, we're sure she'll be right there next to Tiger when the time comes. Finally, the three-time French Open champion doesn't want a ceremonial goodbye. While the details of when she's retiring are still unclear, Serena's told us that she's not looking for a ceremonial final on-court moment. She says she's the worst when it comes to goodbyes, and she won't be doing anything of that sort, in case you were expecting it. Guilty as charged, we were kind of looking forward to a grand goodbye to one of the greatest tennis players of our time. But it's alright, because then again, this is what she means by evolution. She doesn't want a huge final goodbye. She wants to do it gradually, and we get that. At the same time, the Compton-raised tennis player is very grateful for all her fans, more than she can ever pen down in a Vogue essay. She loves her fans for carrying her to so many titles. She's obviously going to miss this phase in her life, but most of all, she's going to miss the fans. That's so sweet. We're gonna miss you too, Williams, more than you think. Well, that's a wrap for this video. What do you think about Tiger's advice to Serena? Let us know in the comments below, and see you in the next one.